Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be the first highlights video of 2022, and we're kicking off here on Rancho Del Arroyo, where the first diamond potential animal that I spotted was this level 3 pheasant. Which, considering my luck with getting diamond pheasants, is pretty appropriate that this is the first potential diamond I would find this year. And I was really, really happy to see another level 3. They are one of my favourite animals in the entire game. So I made my way over to him nice and slowly so I wouldn't spook him off. And then when I was within range, I got up and ran at him with the shotgun equipped. So as soon as he got into the air, I could shoot him. Now, of course, with the pheasants, you do need to make sure that they are airborne before you shoot them. Otherwise, you will get no score. They will be counted as grounded. So just waiting there for him to actually take off. And finally, once he does, manage to put a shot into him there. And he's going down pretty quickly. Not an instant kill, but more than enough to bring him down within not very far. And here he is. Absolutely stunning bird. I love these guys so much. And picking him up, he's a really good sized diamond at 21.4 and absolutely gorgeous. First diamond of 2022 being another pheasant. And you can see only hit him there with two pellets, but he really didn't go that far. But yeah, really good size one, as I said, because diamond is actually 20.30. So he's a full 1.1 over the diamond requirement, which is really nice to see. And a great way to kick off the, f uh, the first hunt for the year, really, in terms of looking for trophy animals. And quickly then moving on, we go on to Vrahonga Savannah, where once again checking my favourite kudu hotspot, really in search of getting some bigger rares, when I spotted this guy, and that is a really good looking level 5. I was hopeful that this guy should make diamond, he looked more than big enough, so as soon as he gave me a shot I was comfortable with, managed to drop him there on the spot with the M1. He didn't go anywhere, so I knew I probably made a good shot there. And as you can see, nice vital blood, so I knew I couldn't have messed him up or anything. And again, these guys just look so much better now they have their tree racks. They are so much more impressive, and these level 5s just look awesome. And he is a diamond at 152.40, and you can see got double lung and just the sort of clip the spine at that angle as well so he really wasn't going to go anywhere from that shot and again another one i was really happy to get to kick off getting the first diamonds and rares of the year moving on now to a clip from mississippi acres and i picked up a pretty interesting track you can see that i'm following a max weight black bear track and this guy was actually a dusky now, of all the new fur types that the black bears now have, I really wanted specifically a dusky diamond, just because I love how that fur type name sounds. Dusky just sounds awesome. And when I finally got eyes on this guy as he came out of the brush there, I spotted him and he was actually a legendary. Now, this is actually only the third legendary black bear I have ever set eyes on, and it's my first one since the black bears got their update with Mississippi Acres. And with it being a dusky as well i was just hoping that this guy would actually make diamond i chased him for a long time trying to actually get a shot on him the first shot that he gave me an opportunity at i took and the the shot must have got blocked by a tree that was kind of near him because it didn't hit him and that's the only thing i can think is that the tree hitbox must have caught it but Chased him down again and as you can see just managed to make him go alert there and he stands up once again and just adjusts my shot and managed to drop him on the spot with a heart shot using the 300 there and it just did such a fantastic job as the 300 always does. Now let's take a look at this guy as I said this is the dusky fur type and I love the longer looking hair on these guys now that longer fur is really really nice and just the duskies to me look so beautiful with those sort of reddish tinges in the fur as well I think it's really beautiful. And picking him up, he is actually a diamond at 22.9, so he just makes diamonds, and that is my first new fur type diamond black bear. 
That is really, really awesome. Long tracking distance, but well worth it to get one of these guys on the ground. Really happy with that. As I said, this is only the third legendary black bear I've ever seen, so it's only my third diamond of these guys. And yeah, I'm just so happy that it was actually the fur type I really wanted out of all of the new fur types. I think these guys look so, so much better, and they're so much more rewarding to hunt now they look so much better. Now you can see I'm paused here with a track that I do have highlighted and that's because when I picked up this track I had to hit record immediately because as you guys can see there in the top right I found the track of a blonde piebald raccoon and not only was it a blonde piebald raccoon it was actually a male. So this is the second piebald raccoon I've ever seen, the first one being a grey piebald and I, this is my first time seeing a blonde piebald in person and I was really really excited managed to shoot him there with the gamekeeper shotgun and after that shot he really didn't go very far before actually dropping these guys are noticeably different from your normal blonde raccoon there's so much more like white fur and sort of reddish color fur in there they are absolutely stunning I really didn't think they looked that much different from the screenshots I'd seen, but when you see them in person, they are really noticeably different. I didn't know if when I saw them running around, I'd actually be able to tell, but now I've looked at them in a lot more detail and in close-up, yeah, you can tell a mile off. They look so much paler, and like I said, they've got almost red tinges and grey tinges in the fur, and they just look really pretty. I really like the blonde piebald. I'm really, really happy I actually managed to find this guy. I was so excited when I picked up that track. And it's my second rare raccoon. And it's just nice that I managed to get a grey piebald and then a blonde piebald. I have heard that brown piebalds exist, but I haven't seen a picture of one yet. So if they do exist, I will be trying to find one of those. But these guys are just gorgeous. I love the raccoons, as you guys can probably tell from the last video I posted. So that was really awesome to find. And talking of really awesome to find, the next animal in this video is one of the rarest animals in the entire game. That right there is an albino wild hog. I actually picked up his track, hit record, and because I was running around, I assumed I would have spooked him. But as you saw, as I was walking around there trying to work out which direction he'd gone, he was only actually a few metres away. And oh my gosh, what an incredible animal. Now, as soon as he started to walk here, I took a shot. It was probably a bit far back, I, I thought, but he was dropping pretty quickly. And to be honest, I just wanted to get him down. I was in multiplayer and I did not want to lose this thing. These guys are practically the same animal. They have the same models and the same rare albino fur type as the wild pigs on or feral pigs on Te Awawara. And I have been looking for one of these ever since Te Awawara came out because they are so extremely rare. I just could not believe it when I picked up this guy's track. And there was vital blood, so I did actually make the shot. Not that it would have mattered too much as this guy was only a level two, so no chance at being anything big. What's important about him is the fact that he's a albino. I just never thought I was gonna get to see one of these. They're just so incredibly rare. And picking him up, he is a albino silver wild hog. I still can't believe I found this. What an absolutely incredible rare. Interestingly, they don't have pink hooves, but they're just incredible looking. I cannot believe it. I'm so glad that when I finally got one, it was one with these new models because they just look 10 times better. That shot, as I said, was too far back really, but I did clip liver, so still got that vital bonus. But it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that he's an albino and that is another one of those rare animals I have been searching for for so long and I was so super stoked to get this and put this in my trophy lodge. I just couldn't believe it and I almost left that area as well. I thought because I wasn't picking up many tracks I thought maybe this server's a bit of a dud but something told me to just stay in that area for a little bit longer and maybe a minute, two minutes later, I picked up that track. Still cannot believe that one. Now, as you guys will see here, we do have a level six American alligator fleeing in front of us. And I thought this guy looked particularly dark, 
but I wasn't quite sure if he was what I was hoping he was because I have thought that many of the olives and the dark browns have looked pretty dark before and I've been hoping that they would be melanistics and they never have been but that guy just looked really extra dark so I decided I would come and check the track as I always do when I think they might possibly be melanistic unfortunately couldn't pick up the disturbed veg there that is a thing recently I've noticed that you can't always pick up disturbed veg but when I picked up his track, you'll have seen it said Olive. So there's a thing at the minute where if you click on too many tracks, and it does seem to be uh, gender specific, so say too many male tracks of a species, that it just says the same fur types or plumage type over and over again. But if you click on a different species or a female, it'll actually tell you the correct track when you then go back and pick up that male track. And that's exactly what I did here. You can see I picked up that female track, it said dark brown, and then went back and picked up his track again. And it instead of saying olive this time, it said melanistic. So that's something to be aware of if you're doing what I do and checking every track possible. Just if you're tracking a female and you think it might be something special, try clicking on a male track or a different species track and vice versa. And then just check that female or male track again and see if the fur type has changed. Because as you can see, that's exactly what happened here. And I knew we had a melanistic alligator. Thankfully, I had host of the server, so I just fast travelled back to the nearest lodge, changed the time, and by the time I got back here, he was already resting on the shoreline. Quickly put a neck shot in him there whilst he was led broadside, giving me that perfect neck shot, and dropped him. And oh my gosh, my heart started pounding the minute I picked up that track and it did actually say melanistic. Because you guys know how hard I've been working trying to get all of the rares for the alligators. And the melanistics and the albinos have been avoiding me. So as soon as I picked up this track, I just couldn't believe that I finally had found one. And being host of the server, I wasn't too worried about getting kicked or anything, obviously, because you can't be kicked if you're host. So I took a moment to just admire this absolutely stunning jet black gator. Absolutely incredible looking animal. And I am so thrilled. So we're going to pick him up here using the scales as a background. And he is a gold melanistic alligator. How cool is that? What a stunning animal. Even the inside of their mouth is like a black colour as well. It's almost purplish in places. Just so cool. So, so cool. I was so happy. I was so nervous that I was going to mess up the shot. Like, just so much adrenaline when I finally picked up that track. I have looked through hundreds and hundreds of these in single player, grinding them, and in multiplayer. And finally, I had one of the two that I needed for that complete collection. So now all I needed was the albino. And we're still in multiplayer now, but in a different session. And as you guys can see over there on the shore of this lake, there is a very white looking alligator. Now, when I initially spotted this, I thought it was probably one of the high white or high pied piebalds, basically the ones that are almost completely white with only a few markings. And I was, I thought I could see some kind of patch or marking on the tail, and I was thinking it's probably not albino, because I want it to be an albino so much, I don't want to be disappointed, it's probably just another piebald. So I snuck around all the way around there, and when I finally got a close up look at this guy, as you guys will see, he's got no facial markings or markings on him at all. So I knew without doubt that that was an albino level 6 alligator. Now, this hunt had my heart pumping just as much as the first legendary alligator I ever saw in this game. And I actually ended up taking a shot at him that completely missed. He ended up going alert and they sort of raise themselves up when they go alert and lift their heads up. And I've managed to land quite a few neck shots whilst they're doing this and I went to go for that neck shot and as soon as I squeezed the trigger he actually dropped down to be sort of flat on the ground again and so the bullet just whizzed over the top of his head. And 
I wasn't going to pop random shots at him while he was trying to flee. So the next sort of half an hour was me toing and throwing with this gator because he didn't want to come back to land and then he was coming back but in my wind and coming back in all kinds of awkward areas until finally he came back right here really really close. Unfortunately he ended up lying straight on to me so I made him go alert again and finally he turned and led in a position where I should be able to get a pretty decent neck shot and that was only helped by the fact that he opened his mouth like that just helps me to line up that neck shot sometimes and as you guys will see I managed to drop him on the spot with a neck shot and oh my gosh what a relief to finally get this guy on the ground I was so worried that I was going to lose this because of course it was in multiplayer as you guys can see in the bottom bottom left corner there it is multiplayer and you know there's always the worry you're going to get kicked or someone's going to come and find it whilst you're in the middle of hunting it that a hacker might join and try and steal it from you there's so many variables that can go wrong and finally picking him up he is a silver albino alligator and with that that is every single rare for the alligators i have now collected all five piebald variations i have and i have the melanistic and the albino oh my gosh what a relief to finally have them all i am so happy they look so good in the lodge i'm so 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 happy when Mississippi was announced and we knew that there was alligators, all I wanted to do was collect the rares because they're just one of the coolest animals in the entire game. They look amazing. The rares are just beautiful and they've just got a special place in my heart. Just absolutely awesome. Now, you'll see there the tracking distance actually says 1.75 kilometers. That was just from me picking up his track and then running around the lake in different directions, trying to get out of his uh, him out of my wind every time. So, yeah, absolutely awesome. I'm so thrilled with that hunt. And talking of picking up tracks, here on Rancho Del Oro, again in multiplayer, I picked up an incredibly special track. You may have just seen it flash up on the screen there. As I was running around picking up tracks and checking that fur type on the map, I picked up the track of a melanistic male coyote. Now, again, this is one of the rarest animals in this game. 2022 has kicked off with some absolutely incredible rares for me which is luck that i will take any day i absolutely love getting rares it's my favorite thing in the game so this is, was just incredible and i spotted him and he was a level six so again i knew that this guy had a chance at being either a silver or a gold and i just couldn't believe it i have never seen a melanistic coyote in game i've only ever seen a few of them posted in screenshots never seen one just in the flesh like this and again, my heart was absolutely pounding because, again, it's multiplayer, as you guys can see. And I just couldn't believe it. Melanistic coyotes, they're just so rare. They're up there with red fox melanistics. Same as that albino feral hog. They're just so rare. So finally, managed to get him to go nervous and then go alert. And he gave me that shot and I dropped him with the 243. I wasn't even going to join a rancho server. I was trying to join a Mississippi server and it said that this server was Mississippi and I clicked on it and joined it and it took me to a Rancho server, which is something I know has been happening to different people. I've heard of this happening and I noticed that the hotspot, the bottom road hotspot was unchecked. So I thought, ah, do you know what? I'll stay and I'll just check. And I didn't even get to the hotspot before picking up this guy's track. And he is a gold melanistic, 50 scoring, gold melanistic, level 6 coyote. How incredible. And how cool do these guys look? Like, my gosh. I'm just... Oh. I have an albino coyote in the lodge as well as an albino jackrabbit. So I now have a multi-mount of an albino coyote fighting a melanistic coyote over an albino jackrabbit. And it's one of my favourite mounts in my lodge now. I cannot believe I got lucky enough to find one of these. Never ever thought I'd finally get to see one. 
and as you guys can tell my 2022 it's it was a slow start in terms of getting trophies because as you guys have probably read in the community tab um where i've been posting i've had a couple of things going on so i haven't been able to hunt as much as i would like necessarily a multiplayer but now it's kicked off it has kicked off with a bang so many things that i have been wanting to find for such a long time and i still can't believe it i'm still in shock about getting some of these so that is going to be it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it certainly one of my favorite videos to record so many animals in here that i just absolutely cannot believe i got lucky enough to find thank you guys so so much as always for all your support i know we hit 3k subs recently which is still mind-blowing to me you guys are incredible with every every piece of support you show me it's just absolutely humbling thank you all so so much and i will see you guys in the next video thank you